Hey, what up everybody? So, um, this is gonna be a very important video, especially for the ladies, although I do encourage men to watch it as well, just so you can glean, you can gain the, um, the revelatory insight, uh, for the women that are underneath your masculine covering. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna title this, but it's gonna be, have something to do with masculine covering, I guess. Um, so, um, I'm going to give some backstory, some context, of course, first, but then I'm going to get to the actual revelation. Um, so, um, I had shared with you guys in a video that I had put up, I guess it was last night, and I just took it down. Um, but uh, I shared how um, I locked myself out of my car, and I, I did call on my ex to help, and then I, you know, cut him off again. And, you know, and I was just kind of like somewhat lamenting, you know, what I couldn't quite put words to until today, you know, of basically his masculine covering. And, you know, just that, that sense of just, you know, having a man to look out for you as a woman and, and that kind of thing, you know. And um, let me open up in prayer. Father God, Yahweh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I just plead the blood of Jesus over this video over the technology of this video, um, and over myself, I ask you, Jesus, will you please fill me afresh right now with your Holy Spirit? Um, I surrender my everything to you, Lord, including my, my mouth, my tongue, my words. Um, I just ask you, Lord, uh, will you please put a hot coal over my tongue and prevent me from saying anything that is not coming from you? Um, please sharpen my mind, Lord, uh, to prevent me, to, uh, to prevent me from forgetting anything important that needs to be said. Um, help me, Lord, to make all the points that you want made. Um, I just ask, Lord, for your anointing upon whatever's going to come out of my mouth um, from you, for your people. And I ask, Lord, that you would draw people that need this message, that need this revelation, that need this. I ask, Lord, will you please draw them to this video in Jesus' name. I ask in Jesus' name, Lord, will you please override the shadow banning on my channel, the censoring on my channel. Um, and just share this, Lord, with, um, you know, just, just have this message get to whoever needs it, Lord. Because I, I, I believe this is a very significant revelation that many, many people need, Lord. Um, I ask for this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I encourage you to share this video because I do believe this is going to be very significant for many people, um, especially many women. <clears throat> so anyway... So yeah, so um, if you've been on my, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that, you know, I had this one ex um, that I've had here in Colorado the last going on seven years that I've had like this on-off communication with. Um, haven't been romantically involved with him for several years, but, um, you know, he's been the most abusive person in my life in a certain sense, but he's also been like the best friend I've ever had in, in the sense of like, um, he'll just about drop everything and prioritize me and, you know, look out for me and, and things like that, right? And so I was, um, in the video that I just put up and took down in the last 24 hours, I was kind of reminded of that and lamenting that a little bit. And, um, and I know I have some subscribers that are in a similar situation, you know, everyone's situation is unique, but, um, and so... I got up today and I was getting ready um, to go down to my Splunkna session and um, and I was driving because I had to drive down the Colorado Springs and um, and so I spent a lot of time just praying and talking to God and, and listening and praying in tongues and you know all this and um, and I was just asking God you know like okay Lord I know that you're calling me to Tennessee in this next season you know I don't know anybody there it would be really great if you would you know bring somebody into my life. And I didn't like officially articulate that I wanted a, a male, but I, but that really was what it came down to was just like someone to look out for me, someone to bring that masculine covering and Holy Spirit kind of whispered that to me, but I didn't like officially consciously like acknowledge that concept. So I walk into my Splunkna session today <clears throat> and my practitioner hits the nail on the head. Um, because she asked me, you know, like, hey, w w what's been going on? So I told her how I locked myself out of my car. I called my ex. I cut him back off again. Da -da 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 -da. And she brought it up. And it, it was just one of those, like, God moments of, like, I knew God was speaking to me through this woman. <clears throat> and she was saying how... <clears throat> so let me just say, like, 
in Christianity, right, there's certain concepts that are pretty well known and established, such as severing ungodly soul ties. And I've covered that on my channel. If you go back in my playlist um, on deliverance and, and whatnot, you know, I, like most most people know about this, right? That's, it's pretty established. And it's established for a reason because there's, there's truth to it. However, I need to pull that up uh, that word document of, of the prayer that I have for you guys on my Google Drive and I need to add what I'm teaching in this video to that prayer um, so I'm, I'm gonna be doing that and you can look for that on my Google Drive and I guess I'll link it in the, in the description box below once I update it I'll have to do that tonight um, maybe I'll do that before I publish it I guess but if I don't just keep an eye for it check back on my Google Drive but I'm, I'm gonna be adding this to the uh, prayer for severing ungodly soul ties but anyway so she brings up this comment or this concept that you know women who get divorced but she was saying it's not just pertaining to someone who's been legally married but just anybody who's been yoked in like a romantic relationship or just you know yoked in any kind of relationship really um you know that you specifically pray to renounce that man's masculine covering and i was like it was just one of those moments i was just like that makes so much sense like that is like you're hitting the nail on the head like and like it just brought such clarity and i was like that's exactly what i have been lamenting and grieving and mourning regarding my ex-boyfriend Nathan um and it's one it's it's what I've been kind of yearning for my entire life and so you know most human beings have daddy issues if not all of us <clears throat> right and um for us ladies you know God created us being a part of his ordained design is that you know um we are to be covered by a man you know the, the man is the head you know um and that doesn't diminish our role as a woman, you know, um, because yes, we do, you know, influence them and we are, we are Adam's help me. We are here to be, you know, what, what women, bleh, what women bring to the table is discernment and, you know, things like that. And so I'm not trying to diminish women, but I'm, but I'm just going to focus on the point here, which is that we are to come under man as a head, as, as, you know, he's the head we are to submit to that, and that's for our own benefit because there is a certain strength. There's a certain masculine strength that men are ordained and anointed to bring, and I, I personally believe that they also have a certain authority, okay? Not that women don't, okay, but just hear me out. There's just certain things that are, like, particularly ordained for men or for women, you know? And so, anyway, those of us who have daddy issues... Um, so this, this, this video is going to be especially for females um, in general, well, females especially that have daddy issues. I'll just put it that way, particularly, okay? Um, if you had an absent father or an abusive father, a neglectful father, and neglect is still a form of abuse, technically, um, you know, and you've been kind of like deep down in your heart, you've been basically searching for that healthy holy masculine covering right now ultimately yes god is our covering ultimately yes but it is god's design that we be covered and the, the god's design is that we be covered by excuse me it is eight sorry um that we just that that we be covered by our biological father and then you know we leave and cleave to our husband right and then we are supposed to be covered by our husband and um kind of like supplemental to that you know we can be covered by our brothers like our blood brothers we can be covered by friends we can be covered just in general by men in the body of christ pastors you know just in general there are certain roles that men and women bring and that are that are supposed to apply in a general sense just to the body right um or just to the human race really um and so anyway so for the women out there who are waiting for their future husband, for the women out there who are struggling to let go of, you know, exes or situationships, right? Any of that kind of stuff. Not only is it necessary for us 
to sever the ungodly soul ties, okay? But it's also necessary that we specifically pray and declare out loud in Jesus' name that we are removing ourselves out from under the masculine covering of these men. We are renouncing their masculine covering in Jesus' name. And so I, I prayed, I, I took care of uh, my, I, I, I addressed this regarding my ex-boyfriend Nathan today in my Slankna session, and then when I came home tonight, um, I muscle tested, I cleared any resistance, and I asked Holy Spirit, okay, you know, is there anybody else? And um, what came up was my own biological father. Now, my own biological father is not saved. He's not a believer. He's not walking with Jesus. He has no real relationship with God. Um, and he has been abusive. He has been uh, physically abusive. He has been, um, to an extent, mental, emotional abusive, you know. And so, um, although I have made sure to address ungodly soul ties, I have not officially, you know, or I had not dealt with that. So before I got on here to record, I made sure to pray and renounce my father's masculine covering. So at this point, I am now 100% under only Father God Yahweh's masculine covering for protection and provision, right? And so those of us who are like me, who come from maybe a dysfunctional, abusive family, let, you know, yada yada, whatever, you don't have a healthy relationship with your father figure, whatever, um, you probably need to do what I just did today. You probably need to pray out loud in Jesus' name that you are removing yourself, you are renouncing the masculine covering of your exes, maybe your father, your stepfather, whatever father figure you had, if you're adopted, your adoptive father, if it wasn't healthy, you know, whatever. Anything unhealthy, ungodly, anything dysfunctional, abusive, uh, yada yada, this is what you want to do in addition to severing the ungodly soul tie or in conjunction with. So, like I said, I'm going to update that prayer and I'm going to include this in that prayer to sever ungodly soul ties. Um, and I'll, I'll update that on my Google Drive for people. Um, but this is, it seems so tiny, but it's like so significant. Okay, this is like so important. Um, and, and it's just... It just made so much sense today when it came up in my session, and um, God really is preparing a lot of us. And, um, you know, it's funny, is in my session today, as we were doing stuff, you know, working on my junk, which we actually got rid of a, a generational stronghold for, for love addiction, um, which I knew already. I knew it was there on my, my mother's side. But um, anyway... Um, I heard Holy Spirit say, like, these are the finishing touches, you know, and then I came home tonight and there was a video on YouTube <clears throat> by another prophetess and she titled her video as something to the effect of finishing touches. And I was like, yeah, that's confirmation of what God spoke to me today. You know, um, so for a lot of us who know that we're in that season of that, you know, Esther preparation, you know, like we are kind of in that realm of like finish of God putting the finishing touches on us of like cleaning up our spiritual junk, whatever else, you know, like right now for me personally, I know that that's what's happening. And he's also kind of getting my finances squared away. I was recently uh, uh, able to pay off some debts, you know, whatever. Um, so God is preparing us to, you know, move into this next season to receive our promises, to receive our kingdom spouses, etc. Okay. So, um, just, you know, it, it's so simple, but yet it's so significant and so impactful. So yeah. So, um, I know I've got two subscribers, um, that I know of that I have spoken to on a personal level that have a similar situation where they've got a man in their life and they know that they need to break away from him and yada yada. So, um, this is for you guys and it's for anybody else out there that this applies to. <clears throat> Not only do you need to sever the ungodly soul tie, but you need to, <clears throat> um, pray, renounce, their covering, their masculine covering. You need to come out from under their covering. You need to be willing to do that, okay? It has to be a voluntary choice. You have to mean it. Um, it's something you have to decide. Um, 
and then come under, you know, only God's covering if you have a unhealthy relationship with your father figure or just, you know, leave it at, if you have a healthy relationship with your father figure, which I'm, I'm assuming that people who struggle with this probably don't, but if you do, you know, that's fine to remain under a healthy covering from your father figure. Um, uh, especially if he is saved and walking with Jesus. If he's not, I don't know about that. Um, that might be something I might have to pray on and, and, you know, um, but you pray on it too, you know. Um, but basically what God made clear today is that, okay, April, if you want me to join you with your future spouse, with your kingdom spouse that I have picked for you, that I have, a, that I have ordained for you, and you want to come under his covering, then you need to come out from under your ex's covering makes sense right and this is what people on youtube have been saying for months of like you got to let go of the old you got to close the door to the old da, 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 da. well this is a very specific door or a very specific way of closing the the door is regarding the masculine covering okay in the spiritual realm this is a, a very real thing okay um we have to stop looking to our exes to spend money on us, to come to our rescue, to be our emotional support, yada, 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 okay? Um, we have to really stop seeking that, stop wanting that, stop receiving that, stop accepting that from these men that God did not ordain to be in our lives so that we can come under the covering of the man that God did ordain to be in our life, which will come in the future. But it's not going to come in the future if we don't come out from under the other covering over here. Okay? Makes sense? Um, and so, yeah, in the interim, you know, you may be only under the covering of Yahweh. And that's fine. God, God's God. There's nothing God can't do. God's trustworthy. He can provide and protect. We don't need a, 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 a man, like, forever. I mean, yes, that is God's, like, ideal design. But, you know, basically, you just have to do it for a, for a little while. As just like an act of faith it's an act of you know showing God like I trust you I trust you God to be my provider and my protector excuse me I'm sorry I'm having a little indigestion um, so yeah so that's what needs to be done I'm gonna go and update the uh, prayer for severing ungodly soul ties and I will update that on my Google Drive and I will put it in the description box below um, along with all the other stuff that I think I used to post under a lot of my videos. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very significant revelation that, uh, is very important to us ladies and it's very important to the body of Christ right now. So I do ask you, I do specifically request that you share this video, share this revelation with other people, you know, post it on social media. This is something that needs to get out there. People, women particularly need to do this. Um, and that's what God is showing me right now is that this is something that, that just needs to be dealt with is like we need to we need to come out from under the coverings of these other men so that we can come under the right covering okay um, so yeah so I will go update that and put it below in, in the description box um, I may publish this first before I update that so if you don't see a section in that prayer um, just check back because I'm going to do it here soon. Um, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's like common sense. I mean, you just basically just, you know, just declare it in Jesus's name that you are removing yourself. You renounce that covering, you know, it's, it's just that simple really. Um, but I am going to add it to the, uh, soul tie prayer. So, um, as always, you guys are welcome to reach out via comments or email with any questions, concerns, etc. Um, I'm here to help. Um, and I think that's it for this video. So yeah, I bless you all in Jesus' name.